financial aid tips. To keep getting financial aid, you'll have to make satisfactory academic progress. You'll hear it called SAP while you're working on your degree. Here's how it breaks down. Get a 2.0 or better GPA and pass most of the classes you take. That's it. I know what you're thinking now. Why is there a whole video about something so simple? Well, students sometimes do fall behind and your financial aid team wants you to know that we're here to help. At the end of each semester, we check to make sure that you will be eligible for the next semester. During that review, you'll be assigned a SAP status. Neat, nothing too hard here. You've met all the SAP standards and qualify for financial aid. Warning, this is the warning you get for the first time you fail to fulfill a SAP requirement. You'll continue to receive financial aid for a term, which gives you time to get back on track. Suspend, a suspension will happen if you fail to meet the SAP requirements for a second time. If this happens, you will be ineligible to receive any state or federal funding for future semesters. If you do get a suspension, there's an appeals process. Sometimes life happens and we believe in second chances. The college will walk you through the appeal every step of the way. Let's take a look at some real students and see how we can help them understand SAP better. Hello, Penny here. I have a bit of a tricky question to ask. I've attended a few different colleges the past few years and have just transferred. I've already completed 80 credit hours of classwork, which all transferred in fine. And in the fall semester, I took another 60 class hours and got all A's. Did I do enough to satisfy the SAP? Hey Penny, so even though you have a 4.0 GPA, the 60 hours required to complete your program have increased to a total of 96 hours. This edges you over that 150% of SAP completion time allowance. You will need to submit a SAP appeal that is approved by the spring semester. Hey guys, I'm Jason and I took six credit hours for my first semester. I got a C in one class, which is okay I guess, but I struggled in the other class and I bombed out with a D. So how is this going to affect my financial aid for next semester? Hey Jason, with a 1.5 GPA, you'll get a warning status. You'll still get funding for next semester. Make sure you reach out to your advisor and work with a tutor so that you're getting the support you need to bring up that GPA next semester. Hey, I'm Alex. So I lost my financial aid eligibility because I fell below the minimum requirements after two semesters, but I had some really difficult life changes that made it hard to keep my grades up. Is that considered an appeal and what happens if my appeal is approved? We understand that students have challenges that are out of their control and can impact their ability to keep up. Health, work schedules, or other events can make it hard to maintain satisfactory progress. We get that, and we do take that into account in the appeal process. If your appeal is approved, you will be placed on a plan of action, which is a specific plan that will be worked out between you and your financial aid advisor to help make sure you get back on track and stay on track.